Bobby here, check it out. Looks like a Charvel Pro Mod. It's not mine, it's on loan. Uh, I gotta give it back. Um, a couple of things. What I'll do is um, go through everything on the guitar, and at the end, at the very end, I'll put, um, I'll put up me playing this guitar to, um, you know, a song, actually, and which I'll probably throw into a short later on. Maybe what I'll do is, uh, but I did a short a while back of uh, Over the Mountain. For some reason, it just, just wasn't getting it right. It just didn't sound good after I was done with it. So maybe what I'll do is I'll try to redo that, which, you know, it has two guitars. And, uh, and sometimes some of the syncopation on there mess up. But um, I'll throw that video at the end, so if you want to check it out. And uh, obviously, it'll be in a short, too. But um, getting back to this guitar, we got here a Charvel Pro Mod San Dimas Style 1 um, HHR, but it's a chameleon. And when I look at it from my point of view, it's like a purple with some sparkles, but not an in-your-face sparkles like some of the other, like the Jackson JB that I've shown or that custom shop Charvel from a long time ago. It's a, it's a very light sparkle, but it's purple when I look at it, but when you shift it certain ways, it looks like it's brown. So let me put it in the camera closer over here. And it kind of changes color. I don't know how well it'll come across in the camera. I'll try to put some, some pictures up, possibly, just so you can kind of see it. Um, I'll kind of get through all the points on the guitar, but I've got to say it's a smooth, smooth the neck. Um, one of the things that's a little bit different than this is it's made in Korea. This, is, uh, this one's mine, and as you can tell, it's mine because they've got the, the Mazero strap locks on it and no locks on these. Um, these are made in Mexico. But this is Korea. I didn't know that they were making them in Korea. I know, you know, obviously, if you want to say in 2007, 2008, when, I don't want to say Charvel made their comeback, but uh, I know that the, at first they started off making models in the USA, and then the second generation of the Charvel, San Dimas, and SoCal's and all that, they were made in um, Japan. And then for the longest time, they've been making them in Mexico, unless you get like, you know, a USA custom shop or something like that. But uh, this is made in Korea. Really nice body. It's um, an alder body. And let's take a look at that paint again. And actually, you can see over here, made in Korea. Um, alder body, Floyd Rose 1000. It's a recessed Floyd. <laughs> pretty far just like all the the pro mods they, they got the recessed floyds um kind of thing that's unique about this is on these guitars or you know this particular one or a lot of the charvels they'll usually have like a jb i think maybe a jb4 in the um in the bridge and in the neck they'll have like a duncan 59 but this is a little bit different this has a this is a custom shop or excuse me a seymour a custom seymour duncan full shred H S H 10 B. So sounds good. You know? A three way blade. And the thing about this is, uh, like on these guitars, you can pull up the um, the volume and you can split the coil. So I don't know if you can do it on the. Uh, that was up. Now I got it down again. That's up. Now it's down. Um, Three-way blade. And the neck pickup is uh, a custom Seymour Duncan Alnico 2 Pro APH1M. So let me put that on the neck. Sounds full. So, um, like these guitars, when you pull the uh, the coil up, I believe it's when it splits the coil. You've got the outer, and then you know both outs. So, in the middle, you've got the two outer coils together. Down. 
and this is just the neck regular. I'm just kind of doing all the variations all at once, but uh, this is just the neck. Got to work on those Ingve licks. Um, let me throw it on clean real quick, so um, you can just kind of hear, you know, a lot of distortion sometimes will kind of muffle things up, so if I put it on clean, it will probably sound a little bit better, you can get a better understanding of it, so throw it to clean now. Okay, it's on clean, so. So that's just the humbucker. Oh, and I forgot to mention, uh, like the other guitars, it's a no load tone. So this is the bridge. That's the middle. This string is going to deaden this. Now this is the neck. And so what I'll do is I'll put it back to the bridge and I'm going to pull the coil up so we can hear the single coil. The outer coil, I believe. Then the middle is both outer coils. And then we'll just do the neck. And that's just the neck coil right here because I have the, the volume up splitting it. my next song I'm working on to do a video with but so this sounds pretty good uh, let me uh, put it back to dirty because I'm gonna hit a couple of chords on this because you can hear how you know these custom Seymour Duncan sound versus just your regular you know Seymour Duncan JB and Duncan 59 so put it on dirty <laughs> Okay, so uh, let me just, um, actually I'll do something pretty simple that everybody knows. Let me grab that guitar. I think both pickups sound great. Um, why don't you guys go back and forth? You can listen. I can hear the differences. You know, not huge, but there's some differences with, with this full shred versus this 59. Um, leave some comments below. Tell me which, which one you think is better. As I said earlier, this, um, if I maybe didn't say, this is not mine. This is on loan. Got to get it back. And you can tell why it's not mine because... Uh, there's no Demazio strap lock on it, so. But I, I was given the opportunity to kind of play this and check it out. 22 fret neck, um, got has rolled frets. This neck is actually a little thinner and smoother than this one. I mean, this is a great neck, but boy, after playing this, <laughs> I kind of wish this neck felt like this one. This feels really nice. It's an oil finish, maple neck, maple fretboard. You know, just the quality they put in the Charvels are just so great. You can just see, I don't know if you can see over here that well, but, you know, the rolled frets, just so smooth. Um, one thing I think that's great that Charvel does is that they put the um, truss rod adjustment or the truss wheel over here. It makes life so much easier sometimes because with the changes in weather, you know, with some guitars you never have to touch a truss rod, but for some, you know, some guitars you may just with the weather changes and, you know, some guitars, it's great. You can put the Allen wrench over here, but when it's not open over here and there's no adjustment wheel, you have to loosen the strings, unbolt the neck or put it up a little and then retune it and, and then, you know, kind of get it leveled. It's a pain, so this is just great. Um, great neck. The tuning pegs are, you know, just Charvel branded, a 12-inch radius. Um, so I think I've, Pretty much talk, talked about all the points in this guitar. You know, I think some of the big differences, obviously, it's, you know, a chameleon. White pickups really stand out. Different pickups that normally come on here. 
and it's uh, made in Korea, but the quality is just great on this. So um, leave some comments below. You know, maybe tell me which pickups you like better, whether it's the, uh, you know, the, the custom full shred in El Nico 2 or the JB and the 59 that pretty much come standard in all the Charvels. Actually, looking over here, this guitar is a little dirty. i um, going to clean it up. I'll get a video at the very end of this. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing, sharing with your friends and family. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you.